Almost exactly one year ago, Milan Lucic was looking over a young ice district, looking over his new turf after signing a seven-year contract with the team. Now, nearly 12 months later, Connor McDavid has made a similar memory. Connor will continue to grow his career here in Edmonton after signing an eight-year contract as Ice District continues to rise. It's very symbolic almost, you know, uh, this is the place I'm going to grow as, as a person, as a player, and you know, the, the city's going to grow along, along with that. Edmonton, a city on the rise, a city Connor will call home for the next decade. I want to win here, this is a city that I think has such a rich history and it's so important that, that you know, we bring that back and you know, we got a taste of it last year and, and we certainly have some unfinished business. Like the captain himself, Connor's parents say this is a day they've been waiting years for. You know, he sort of had this this thing sort of mapped out his whole life that he was going to, you know, leave home at 15 or 14 and get exceptional player status and go first overall in the, NH in the OHL draft and the NHL draft. So, in my mind, you know, it's the, the script's been written for a long time. It's just one of those, you know, other steps along the way. So, it's, it's and it's and it's incredibly exciting, as you might imagine. You know, it's it's. Great to be a part of Edmonton for the next nine years. Uh, you know, money aside, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to be here and play here and ultimately win here. Last season was one of many firsts for the Oilers. Connor was made captain, the team opened Rogers Place, and they made playoffs for the first time in 11 years. Connor credits the fans and all the new energy that comes with a new building for all the success. I'm well, sure it's nice to have a huge locker room and a great player space and all that. It, it, it's all very nice, but. Like I said, it's, it's the fans that make it what it is, and you know, obviously there's a lot of development going on outside, and that's going to be great, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's special to be here in Edmonton. Having this great uh, barn, as they call it, uh, to play in, and the excitement of the fans, and you know what's happening in the city, as Brian said, and you know, I can't wait to stay in the new hotel, and uh, it's just, it's fun to be a part of. Connor's going to be right in the middle of uh the city of Edmonton uh, being built uh, to a whole other level uh, as he'll take the team to a whole other level. Connor says he's looking forward to seeing the finished product of phase one of Ice District. And now that he'll be around, he can actually enjoy it. The whole downtown area is, is, is going to be a, kind of a destination, I think, uh, with the new rink and um, you know, the whole surrounding area. So yeah, I think if you're a free agent, why wouldn't you want to come here and have a chance to to play and be a part of something special. But for now, as he lets his new contract sink in, he can just sit back and enjoy the view. Honestly, it's, it's such an honor to be here and uh, you know, wear that oil shoes for the next nine years of my life. For all the latest Ice District construction updates and event announcements at Rogers Place, follow us on social media and visit our website. Don't forget to get your tickets to the many exciting events and concerts coming to Rogers Place this summer and fall, too. For Ice Level, I'm Jessica Kent. Thanks for watching.